Like the proverbial pebble dropped in a pond, some surfers have an influence so profound it ripples across oceans and through time to shape surfing for decades to come. This is the ripple effect. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. 1967, the summer of love, in America disaffected youth descend on San Francisco's Haight-Ashbury district with flowers in their hair and turn out in their thousands in anti-Vietnam protests. In faraway Australia, counterculture guru Timothy Leary's rallying cry to turn on, tune in, and drop out inspires surfers to flee the city in pursuit of the country's sole dream. Surfing is going through its own revolution. Boards go radically shorter as hair grows longer. Surfers flock to the former whaling town of Byron Bay and Queensland's Noosa Heads, lured by stories of long, dreamy point breaks, warm water, and cheap old farmhouses to rent. And two bookish brothers from Sydney's well-to-do North Shore find themselves on the front line of surfing's pivotal transition era. The revolution may not be televised, but it is documented vividly in the Witsick brothers' seminal films, photos, and magazine articles. The Witsick brothers. They were really sort of pushing the boundaries of what what what, you, what could be done in surfing. Great contributors to our um, to the history and culture of um, surfing. They documented uh, a fairly lengthy period in Australian surfing better than anybody else. It's way cooler than what we're doing now. And he smashed a flagon on the bench and went, "When you're a jet, you're a jet all the way from your last cigarette to your last dying day." Oh, yeah, Paul Witsick, eh? They're sitting at Sunset Point holding shotguns. And I just thought as a kid, I'd go, that, I mean, that's before gangster was gangster, you know? The, the Witsigs were the net factory. They're, despite being over adamant in some aspects, I love them. <laughs> despite shared interests in architecture, cameras, and surfing, Paul and John Witsig rarely collaborated, yet their collective imagery came to define a golden era in surfing. The Witsig is, is funny in German. That's what it really means. But I personally prefer smart ass. But we were a band of rebel surfers out there making movies. No money, nothing. Good one. Yep, all good. That's excellent. I hated football and I hated cricket, but I loved surfing. Surfing was freedom. Surfing was individual. Right from the very first days, that's what hooked me. Uppercut. From, yeah, Uppercut's good. Um, there's a lot of hair product out there right now. I got some free stuff from, from the contest that these guys had it. I'll, I'll, I'll always take free hair product because I always like to slick my hair. Rab, I, I think I'm like Rabbit. You know, Rab always has his hair slicked, which is fucking cool. He's, Rab's cool. Yeah. 